Okay, I am booting into Phoenix OS 7.11, I do believe. We'll take a look at it here in a minute. This is a <clears throat> old HP laptop, the Elite Book series. I want to say it's a 2570. It has an i5 processor in it. Um, I believe probably first or second gen because it came with Windows 7. Uh, I have 8 uh, gig of RAM installed, but I want you to take a look at the Phoenix uh, desktop system. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings and uh, let's see exactly what we have. About tablet. You see here it is an HP Elite Book. 2570. You can see I'm running Phoenix OS <clears throat> version 2.2.1.64, which is Android 7.1.1. There's the kernel and the build information. And this is as of, uh, what are we, about October 13 or 14, 2017. A little information about the tablet. Let me just walk you through it. <clears throat> Phoenix has a real nice look and feel to it. It actually reminds you of the old Windows. You've got a start menu down here. You've uh, actually got your programs, which are icons. And the more icons you add, or the more programs you add, the more pages you've got to it. Um, I'll just go into something. Uh, it comes preloaded with the Play Store, which is absolutely terrific. And you can see how fast it pops up and responsive, working well. Comes with a file manager. You can see how crisp and clean and fast that was. Let's see what else we can find in here. <clears throat> Email, camera, calendar, calculator, uh, WPS office, gallery. Now I've added some maps to it too. I've added Firefox beta. Uh, I've got Firefox down here as well, but the beta just for for some reason for me it seems to work more frequently and uh, crash less often and stuff like that so I'm using the beta version of it we'll just click on to that uh, looks like we're gonna come up to uh, Best Buy and Yahoo let me hit the Yahoo homepage alright and we'll hit it that way there we go and see how quick and clear that is Everything is scrolled. It's pretty fluid. You don't see a lot of problems or anything. <clears throat> nice fluid movement. Nice and crisp and clean. Go back down here again. Um, I did download Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And these are the Android versions. <clears throat> this might be the first time I've launched Word. And there you have it. Wants me to sign in. But you can see that that's working. Um, speed test. Let's just test the uh, how fast the internet is. Finding the best server. And you notice these are all Android programs. Just like on your phone. Looks like uh, it's going to test out of Detroit. Uh, everything's working fine there. 35, 36, 37. 40. So we'll get out of that. We'll go in here and test something else. I've uh, downloaded Cleaner and YouTube. Let's just check a video on YouTube so that you can see how that looks. <clears throat> and and you can see I've been looking up IPTVs, try to find out if I can uh, watch something um, through the IP. T. Let's just click on a video here and we'll get it running. See how fast that was. I'm watching an advertisement. Hey, what's going on here? Today I'm going to show you All how to right. install Terrarium TV. Yeah, Terrarium TV. Let's talk about Terrarium TV. I have been exploring a little bit on the IPTVs 
Uh, you can see mod mod grow there. Uh, but this uh, this new one, this Terrarium TV, is incredible. Go ahead and launch that app. Uh, did it launch? There we go. Um, this you can run without Cody, and it actually runs uh, very smooth, very nice, no stuttering, um, no uh, no problems whatsoever. You can there's a search function function here. You can either search by TV shows or movies. Let's search for the new Wonder Woman movie just for something to look at. Wonder Woman. There it is. There's the TV show. Let's search for the movie. And there's the new one from 2017. I can either play the trailer or I can go up and hit play here and it will give me uh, options of where I can play it from. You can see it already came up pretty quickly there. Um, I'm noticing the Google video ones are really nice. Um, there's an infinity based Google 720p. You see it's loading in all my options for playing it. And uh, I'll just pick one. That's a pretty big one there actually. There's a Google video. That's the same one. Infinity based Google video. Let's click on that. play and one thing I do like about Terrarium TV is it comes up real fast quality's great on it and you see how fluid it is so this is really cool you've actually got a desktop operating system it is Android based it has the look and feel of Windows um, we'll go ahead and close out of this Pretty cool, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. It seems like it's so much quicker. You want to take a look and see what we're doing with Cleaner here. Just to clean up any storage or RAM. It's a little different than the desktop version. I like the desktop version because you can clean your cookies and things like that and keep people from tracking you. But uh, let's go under My Computer. It actually shows uh, all my storage spaces. It shows uh, my disk. Um, it shows the Android system. It actually shows the local disk. This is the Windows disk here. And let's see if I can see anything on there. Yeah, there's my Windows programs and everything right there. So that's nice. But anyway, uh, Hangouts, uh, chat program, I use a lot. Especially with my kids. But uh, as you can see, I'll try one more thing here. Yeah, <laughs> I got a message right there. But uh, we go back one more time into this so you can take a look and see exactly what we're dealing with under the settings. Let's go back down here. About system. And uh, that's what you have. <clears throat> you have Phoenix OS, Android version 7.1.1. I would definitely recommend it. I did have trouble loading it onto my HP desktop, which is an Opti, OptiFlex, I think it's called, 780 or something. It's an older Core 2 processor. But on this particular unit, it works great. So if you get a chance to try it, try it. You're going to like it a lot. Uh, Phoenix OS. Take care now. Bye.